Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Paul Burns with Porcelain Tub Restorations at BathRenovationHQ.com, and today we're going to be discussing uh, HF Asset and bathtub refinishing. There's a lot of misinformation, disinformation, and frankly, outright lies. So let's go over this real quick. We're going to answer three questions. Is it safe to use? Does it hurt your tub plumbing? And why do we use it? Okay, we're going to do a quick demo here. We have PVC piping. This is uh, the shoe assembly that goes under the tub and the drain assembly screws into it. We have PVC and we have a brass piece here with copper. And here we have our chrome drain. Let's put them in our bucket. Here we have what represents a copper pipe with a soldered joint. And we have a black pipe which is often used uh, as the waste on plumbing, especially in the older houses. Here we have ceramic tile. I got black and white. The black will demonstrate the contrast a lot better than the white. And this represents the glaze coating on porcelain tubs and uh, is similar to the enameling on steel enamel tubs. And we wouldn't use this on fiberglass because it uh, doesn't work and uh, that can be abraded or sanded with sandpaper. Whereas ceramic products cannot. Okay, here we have our HF acid and this is a 10% solution. This comes in liquid and paste. Uh, let's use our protocol and we'll slowly add this in. Okay, there's a lot of confusion, controversy about HF acid. And the reason we use it is to provide mechanical adhesion. Porcelain tubs, enamel tubs, gel coats on fiberglass tubs are non-porous, very smooth, and they don't give you any type of foothold for the coatings to grab onto. Um, this makes little valleys and, and hills on a microscopic level. And as the coatings dry, they shrink up and tighten up around these little crevices and, and footholds, uh, creating what they call mechanical adhesion. Um, is it necessary? With the, well, it used to be absolutely. Uh, today, with the advent of saline coupling agents, which provide chemical adhesion on a molecular level, uh, it's not absolutely uh, as important as it used to be. But call me old school, I believe in giving you mechanical adhesion and chemical adhesion. So uh, I love the saline chemistry out nowadays, and we absolutely utilize it. But I'm going to show you what the uh, HF acid does for us, and you can make a decision uh, whether you think it's a, a good thing or a bad thing. Now, as far as safety goes, the uh, bathroom is uh, protected with tape and plastic uh, when we're doing the etching process. And uh, it's, as long as you're not slopping it around and, and getting puddles, uh, use it carefully and skillfully. It's absolutely safe. Um, this isn't something you'd want to give somebody that didn't have some understanding of it. Uh, if you get it on you, you have you know, 10 or 15 seconds to wash off. And we do have a protocol in how we use it. This is taken out of the box, into the tub, poured, tightened, rinsed, put away. Then a swab applicator is used for the tub. Uh, and then once we feel the drag uh, forming, then the tub is rinsed. Now, we use about a cup and a half. So this will do like four, maybe you know, probably four tubs. So we use very little per job. Uh, the uh, pH on this is like four and a half. Uh, once it's rinsed and diluted with water, which it dilutes very easily, uh, with a couple three to four gallons of water during the rinse, it's pretty well neutralized. Now, if you have a septic field system and you're a little concerned, again, it's very little. Uh, some baking soda could be added to counteract any pH imbalances if you feel like that's a problem. But the small volume that we use, I really don't feel like it's an issue for you. Okay, I believe we're probably ready now. I'm going to go ahead and take these tiles out. And this is simple water right here, and all we're going to do is rinse it. Okay, that's it. That's all it takes. Okay, we got our parts. There's already a nice line formed on here from the etching. And does it hurt your plumbing is the next question that a lot of refinishers will tell you. And as you can see, the PVC is completely unaffected. No damage to it whatsoever. And uh, here's our black pipe. Okay. Rinse that, and absolutely no discoloration. It hasn't dissolved the metal, hasn't hurt the pipe at all. 
Here's our brass piece and copper. Okay, we got that rinsed. That's all it takes. Absolutely no damage to the metal whatsoever. Copper looks great. Here's our solder joint. So, no problem there. It hasn't eaten through the solder joint. The uh, solution is on the tub for just a few minutes and then it's rinsed. So it's not like we're using 50 gallons of this and it's flooding down, the, uh, down your pipes, damaging, destroying the world, as they would have you believe. Okay, and here's our chrome drain in great shape. Now, we'll tell you, all drains nowadays come chrome, and then uh, if you get the fancy dancy drains with the satin, brass finish, uh, nickel finishes, it's a very thin coating, and it's over chrome, and they're electrostatically applied. Uh, the acid will eat those finishes off. So if you've got uh, satin-type finish drains, they need to be removed during the process if you're going to have it etched or, or protected, and we do have uh, methodologies to protect it. Okay, so the question is, does it hurt your plumbing? No. Is it safe to use in professional hands, trained personnel? Yes. Um, you can misuse hair remover like sodium hydroxide, leave it on your skin too long, and it will give you a chemical burn. Oven cleaners, same thing. Uh, they can burn you as well. Battery acid, sulfuric, uh, working on your car. Again, it just requires some common sense and good protocol. Okay, so we've answered the question of, does it hurt your plumbing? No. Anybody tells you it does, you can wag your finger at them and say, I don't appreciate you lying to me. Why would you want to hire somebody who's lying? Okay, this is a great effect here on what it does to the porcelain enamel finishes. Somebody's here. And what it does is it provides, it breaks the gloss and it leaves a powder residue. Now, the powder residue, if not removed, can interfere with the adhesion. So you can see this white material forming up. Uh, once the tub has been etched, rinsed several times, dried, uh, we basically go over it with a sander, and the powder gets removed. Okay, once it's removed with the sander, we go over it with a scuff pad, rinse, clean again, and what you now have is an etched surface. And uh, you wouldn't have your car painted without having it scuffed and sanded. You wouldn't re-varnish your furniture without having it scuffed, sanded. You wouldn't paint your walls, even like in your bathroom. Uh, you should clean the walls and have it and scuff it before you paint. Uh, when we're doing tub and tile, we often have to tape around the, the tile, and quite often the, our tape peels the paint off. That's not our fault. It's the person who painted the room, whether it was you or your painter, uh, skipped uh, a very important part of the process. So it's just important that all this loose powder is removed uh, prior to refinishing. But now you have something for the, uh, for the coating to grab onto, and we call that mechanical adhesion, as I, I mentioned earlier. Okay, we got that covered. So why is this controversy? That why do they say acid etching is bad um, and put us down for doing it when it's an extra step that takes us uh, extra time money and materials to, to do this for you. Well, they, they do this because this, the franchises ship their products to the franchisees, and this can't be shipped uh, under normal shipping conditions. It needs to be on a, when it's shipped, it can't be in contact with any food products, so it has to be a special type of shipment. Uh, most of these refinishers work out of their apartments, uh, store their materials in a closet, a shed, a basement, they can't have access to this. The deliveries aren't going to be, uh, they're not going to be able to have this delivered to a residential neighborhood. Um, so they don't have access to it. Uh, they're afraid of it. Uh, they haven't been trained. Uh, they don't want to spend the extra money, uh, especially these discount refinishers. They're trying to cut all the corners they can. So now you know the truth. They can't get it, don't want to get it, and they lie about why it's used. And I'm kind of sick and tired of the uh, of the misinformation out there, so I want to do this video to demonstrate exactly what the product is, why we use it, and what it's used for. So, next time, again, when somebody tells you that acid etching is bad for your refinishing job, you know the truth. Okay, I think I've covered everything. Go over my notes. Yep, I think I got it all. 
you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at Porcelain Tub Restorations. And uh, I'm going to wrap this up. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.